Thanks for stopping by today. I know Smoke and Steve, uh, we're going to be smoking up uh, spatchcock chicken today. Uh, she weighs about 5.3 pounds and it'll probably take about two hours to get her smoked. Uh, we'll be smoking today at uh, somewhere between 225 and 250 degrees. Uh, we like to take her uh, low and slow, as they say. And uh, at the end of the video, be sure to hit subscribe and uh, the bell so you'll get notifications. Uh, we're going to have uh, plenty of mouth-watering recipes on here, and uh, you don't want to miss out on any of those. So uh, we're going to pause this video now, and uh, I'll be bringing the chicken out and show you how to get it prepared for the uh, smoke. Okay, here we go. Uh, what we have here is about a five and a half pound chicken. And today we're going to be uh, uh, fixing that uh, spatchcock. And uh, what that entails is uh, uh, cutting out the uh, backbone and then you flip it over and uh, kind of push down and uh, open up the chest. So uh, let's get started. Uh, I like to start out by uh, taking a knife and cutting the meat on each side of the backbone. Okay, after we get that cut a little bit, we'll take a pair of uh, kitchen shears and cut out this backbone. Now, if you don't have shears, you can use a sharp knife or uh, whatever you have to cut through bone. Uh, I think it'll be a little easier with the kitchen shears, but you want to cut that out. Okay, we got a little tough spot here. Mm. Got through that. Another tough spot. Wow. There we go. Okay, we got that guy out of there. And by the way, uh, chickens are pretty nasty and a lot of contamination, so you want to be sure to wash your hands before and after handling chicken. So, uh, okay. Uh, we got that backbone out. We want to spread him out. Kind of... Well, break that push down and break that like that so that puppy lays flat okay I just got back from uh, washing my hands and uh, we're gonna put some of this rub on here today it's a uh, Weber KC barbecue rub uh, and it says it's great on beef, chicken, and pork. So uh, we're going to give this a whirl today. If you got a favorite rub, uh, use that. Or if you want to venture out, to, you know, try this or try something else. I'm going to grab a spoon. Okay, I got a spoon here. I'm going to get some of this uh, goodness out of this jar here. Just kind of sprinkle it around. And then we'll rub it around a little bit. Uh, I've used this rub before and it uh, is a little strong so I try to use this kind of sparingly. If you get it uh, on there too thick it'll have quite a bit of flavor, maybe a little more than you like. So let's rub that around see what we got. Okay, that doesn't look too bad. Let's uh, go ahead and flip him over. 
Okay, I'm going to pat this down a little bit. Uh, I failed to do that on the other side. Okay. Uh, we're gonna, uh, I'm going to go wash my hands again and uh, freshen up before I uh, do anything else. Okay, I'm back from washing my hands. Uh, we're going to grab the olive oil here. Put a splash or two on this guy. Kind of rub that around a little bit. That kind of allows the uh, rub to stick on there. Okay, so let's go to the rub. Uh, get a spoonful. Kind of sprinkled around a little bit. Okay, that's probably about good enough. And uh, rub that around. And there you have it, one happy little chicken. And uh, believe me, it's gonna get a lot happier. We're gonna uh, put this in this little container here and uh, wrap him up, put him in the fridge for a little bit, maybe an hour or two, and uh, then we'll do the magic out on the acorn. Okay, let's see about getting this grill lit. Okay, we're not going to need this in here today, so we'll set this aside for now. <clears throat> I got uh, my cotton balls here in the jar so soaking in alcohol, so I'm going to go ahead and take three of those. I'm squeezing some of the uh, excess alcohol out of the cotton balls. And I'm going to kind of just place that down in there a little bit. Okay, we got our coals placed in here now. Uh, let's uh, get this thing lit up here. Uh, we got the cotton balls lit. Uh, now let's place some uh, coals around the top of it. Uh, so we can get the coals going. Uh, you just need to take uh, a few small ones and place around the top uh, where the fire is. That doesn't look too bad. Okay, I've started placing uh, my hickory chunks in here. Uh, I took a few of them and just uh, scattered them around the coals there and uh, spread them out a little bit. So as the fire spreads, uh, we'll ignite uh, more hickory chunks. And uh, place the grate on here. And now the diffuser to diffuse the uh, heat. Uh, we don't want the direct heat getting onto the uh, food. Okay, let's get this uh, grill probe plugged into the transmitter. As you can see, we already got a pretty good smoke going here. Get this guy plugged in. Alrighty. Really getting smoky. Let's close that lid. And uh, turn our uh, receiver on here. Need to turn the receiver on first. And then go to the transmitter and uh, turn that on. Okay, it's been maybe uh, 
Yeah, between five and ten minutes since I've uh, closed the lid and uh, the temperature of the grill is uh, 156 degrees so what I'm going to do now is uh, shut these dampers down uh, oh maybe halfway or so okay it's best to bring this temperature up slow uh, it's not a good idea to uh, get it too hot it's pretty hard to bring the temperature back down once uh, you get it too hot uh, you can do it, but it takes a little bit of time and effort. So uh, we try to bring it up slow. Uh, the temperature of the grill is 163 now. Uh, uh, 167. As you can see, it's smoking pretty good at this point. Okay, grill temperature is 169. Uh, remember we're shooting for 225 250 somewhere in there so uh, we're going to leave the dampers uh, shut about halfway here for a little bit and come back to it uh, right now uh, we're showing 172 degrees so uh, we'll shut her down here for a minute and uh, come back okay it's only been uh, three or four minutes uh, since I shut the uh, recorder down uh, temperature is 196 now so uh, we're going to start cranking her down uh, we're going to crank her down quite a bit so we're at 199 so when you're cooking at 225 or 250 uh, generally these dampers are just barely open uh, right now the grill is at 203 so it's climbing pretty fast uh, hopefully I didn't leave these open too long uh, we'll just have to wait and see what happens here at 205 right now so uh, we'll pause the recorder here and uh, come back to it here in a few minutes 207 here's a close-up of the uh, top damper uh, as you can see it's just barely open and uh, that's probably about what uh, what it's going to be at 225, 250. Uh, some variation of this. Let's take a look at the uh, bottom damper. And as you can see, the bottom damper, and there you can see the opening, it's just barely open, just a little bit. And uh, that's about what you want for 225-250. So uh, we, we'll see how it comes out. Okay, we're back at the grill. It's only been, uh, you know, a couple more minutes. Uh, but right now the grill temperature is uh, 234, 235. So what we're going to do is uh, go ahead and open the lid and uh, put the uh, spatchcock chicken on. Uh, now when you open the lid, of course the temperature is going to drop and also uh, the chicken's cold so all that uh, is going to bring the temperature of the grill down. Uh, but that's normal. Uh, don't go ahead and start opening uh, uh, dampers to try to bring the uh, temperature back up. You don't want to do that because then you'll overheat the coals. Will, you'll get too many coals lit and it'll just get too hot. So uh, once you open the lid and then get the chicken on, Temperature is going to come down, going to drop off a little bit, uh, but just leave the dampers where they're at. Uh, it'll take a few minutes and the temperature will be uh, right back where it was. So uh, let's open her up. Okay, we got our chicken set in here. So let's just go ahead and throw him on there. Okay, and we'll take our uh, meat probe over here that we had already plugged in. And uh, we're going to uh, stick, stick him in the breast here and uh, monitor the temperature. And the uh, temperature we want on the chicken uh, is uh, 165 degrees. Mm. 
Okay, we got that. Uh, so let's shut the lid. Okay, uh, the temperature of the grill dropped down to 172 degrees, but uh, should climb back up on its own uh, without messing with the damper, so you don't want to do that. So uh, let's let it sit here for a little bit and we'll come back to it. Okay, it's only been a couple minutes since we put the chicken on the grill and already the temperature of the grill has climbed up uh, to two, 244 on its own. So uh, we may want to shut these dampers down just a little bit more. I mean, if you go over 250, it's no big deal. Uh, I mean, the chicken's still going to cook. Uh, may cook a little faster, but, uh, you know, try to stay between 225 and 250. Uh, and we'll see where we're at here in a little bit. So uh, we'll come back to it here in a few minutes. Okay, we've been cooking for about 40 minutes now. And it uh, looks like the, uh, well, the grill temperature is 248 and the uh, chicken is 108. So uh, let's open the lid and uh, take a peek, see what's going on. Okay, there she is. Uh, got a ways to go yet, but uh, you can see what she looks like after uh, 40 minutes. So we'll close her back up and uh, let her cook. Uh, grill dropped down to 223 degrees. It'll come back up. And uh, we're actually cooking at uh, about 243, 246, somewhere in there. It's been pretty steady. So uh, let's take a break here and uh, let her cook. Okay, here we are after about uh, two hours, and the uh, chicken temperature is, uh, as you can see, 165 degrees, and the grill temperature is 225. Okay, so uh, according to that probe, it says the chicken's done. We're going to take a peek here and uh, double check it with our other uh, temperature. Uh, probe here. Let's see if it tells us the same thing. Uh, it says about 160 there. Yeah, that's about 172. There's about 163 and about 162. So we're going to close the lid and let her cook a couple more minutes here and then we'll uh, finish her off. Okay, we waited a couple more minutes here and uh, We're going to go ahead and uh, take her off. Pull that probe out, set it aside. We'll go ahead and shut this uh, rascal off so we don't forget it. Okay, I'll tell you what, uh, that uh, spatchcock chicken looks uh, lip smacking good. I'm going to close this lid and uh, now that we're done cooking, shut the top damper and uh, shut the bottom damper. And that, uh, after a while, those coals will go out and you'll be able to put the cover on and uh, use the remaining coals for the next cook. 
so uh, be sure to subscribe and hit the bell uh, to get notifications on our next uh, lip smacking good recipe thanks for tuning in